Hello fellow travelers, I'm too lazy to be awesome and this time we learn more about Iniquitous Baptist. In battle, Iniquitous Baptist can wield four elements – Pyro, Cryo, Hydro and Electro, out of which he picks three at random. But you can find out which ones you will face in advance if you look closely at the crystals flying at the boss spot. No matter what elements he picks, during the fight you will have to destroy shields made of those elements to stun the boss and be able to deal damage to him. Boss activates them one after another, and once you destroy all three, the boss will get a longer stun and it will be your best window to deal damage to him. In the beginning of a fight and after each cycle, boss places crystals you haven't destroyed on the ground and summons elemental rings around them. You'll have about 10 seconds to destroy the crystals during that. If you manage to destroy all of them, shield's durability will be halved for the rest of the fight. This effect is applied every time you destroy all three crystals, whether by destroying them directly or just by destroying all three shields. It can be stacked up to twice, reducing shields durability down to a quarter of initial values in total. And lastly, boss head is his weak spot, so aimed attacks that hit it are guaranteed to crit. Boss attacks will always be of the same element as the active shield, and there are quite a few of them, but boss doesn't do anything impressive. And honestly, if you find him smart, he won't even get the chance to attack. Since boss can wield 4 elements and you'll have to destroy shields made of them, the main thing you should remember is which element you should use against each of them. Everything works as usual here. Hydro counters Pyro, Pyro counters Cryo, Dendro counters Hydro, and against Electro, Pyro, Cryo and Dendro are equally efficient. Bringing reliable sources of elemental application is the only thing you need for an easy fight. But remember that internal cooldowns are a thing, so combining different sources of elemental applications will speed things up. Here are top tier characters for applying useful elements so far if you are not sure who you should bring. Since you can see which elements you'll have to deal with in advance, you just need to form a decent party that includes all the counters. Boss doesn't have additional resistances himself, so you can pick any of those as your main source of damage, or even dedicate your free party slot for a damage dealer. Choosing the right characters will allow you to deal with crystals in the beginning and with all types of shields afterwards in seconds. And if you can't kill the boss in one cycle, just repeat the process. It will become even easier as the fight goes on. There is just one hidden achievement related to Iniquitous Baptist that you can earn, and it isn't even worth mentioning. In order to get it, you just have to destroy all three crystals when boss summons elemental rings. You'll get the achievement as soon as you stun the boss with no need to kill him. Anyway, that's all for now, fellow travelers. Subscribe for more tips and have a great rest of your day.